Today on Zoom. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. And the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by viewers like you. Get ready for Zoom! 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 Get ready for Zoom! 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 Arkansas sent us this game called The Human Knot. <laughs> All right, first you have to hold hands, but don't hold hands with the person next to you. you right, don't um, use the same person either. Okay. Okay, now try to untangle yourself. Oh, now you tell us. <laughs> uh, Zoe in the middle. Sorry. <laughs> Go under. Oh, ow. Hello. Um, right. This is kind of. Um, a little hard? Okay. Yeah. So, all right, put your hands over Keiko. So Keiko's like okay. that. Okay. You guys, um, so can you lift your wait, this hand put, for a second? Put, so wait. Like that. Does no. That work? No. <laughs> okay, Hi. now. All right, can I get over your arm, Alisa? Then I'll <laughs> get wait, under no. you. Under you. Under you. Under you. Under you. All right, all right wait, yeah. David and Alisa twist I out. I need to go through. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, what about <laughs> this little jam? <laughs> that could pose a problem. <laughs> Hand up. All right, you go over to the other side. Me? Yeah. You know, I can't sit, I can't tell who you no. is. Uh, Dad, okay. Dad, just put your hands down like Where's Keiko going? Uh, I'm going under her hand. Um, yeah, you could go over there. Okay. We're more messed up than we were I'm, before. I'm going over Zoe, right? Okay. What? Uh, Am I? Yes. Dead. No. Step over. Hey, Zoe. Hi. A little bit personal way. <laughs> You're on a shirt. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Let me let me step over Lisa and Pablo's arm. What is this? Can I get up? Ow. So can Ow. we get all injured, please? Like, kind of. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got one part on tangles. Um, come under. No, get under. You get under like that. And I step over this. Okay. Oh, great. No. Oh! Get up. Get up. Wait. Hold on, me. Now, hold on, hold on. Oh, there you go. Don't get involved. Well, Zoe's pulling. Look, look. No, I don't think so. Now, hold on. 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 We all have to be facing the same way, too, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Yay! No, okay, go. Woo! Yes! Woo! Yay! Yay! Let's get along. <laughs> What's up? What's
What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's your favorite thing about your room and why? It's probably my bed because it has lots of teddy bears in it so I can sleep good every night. My favorite thing about my room is my computer I have. I think my favorite thing about my room is the big comfy green chair. My favorite thing about my room is I don't have to sleep with noises going on in the backgrounds like snoring and your nose whistling and all that stuff. Hey, Lanise. Yep? What do you get when a cow's in an earthquake? Uh, I don't know. A milkshake! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Christian F. of Winchester, Massachusetts, sent us this challenge to build a parachute using plastic bags, yarn, paper cups, and tape. First, we're going to test our parachutes using pennies, but then we're going to use eggs. Okay, guys, you can start making one. All right, that's an idea. Okay. I think that the cup should be where the egg is. Open it and then. Okay, so it's like our base. Make it really right. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so this is where the egg are, is going to be. Okay. Now the other side. Here, I got it. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Want to do one more? Yeah, we're. Um, I see we do, do like a big, big one. But should we have just one, or should we have more? I think we should have more, because then it, the more parachutes, it'll make us slower. Paper, plastic is easy to cut. It's like, yeah, but I can just push it through. That's good. See, now it stays open. I was just thinking we could do one side, and then, and then just connect all of them? Yeah, like together. That. Like tape them together. Okay. How's the cup gonna fit in? All right, let's try that on the other bags. Um, how many do we need? Should we use three? Three. Three. Okay. Oh, um, one on this side, one on this side, and then one in the middle, like going across. Yeah. Okay. We have to remember to make one really big though. Okay. Like, really wide. Yeah, like ready? Because how we'll drop it. That'll be good. Put this through. Then stuff it through the little hole. I wonder if it could hold us. I doubt it. <laughs> I need one for over here. Okay, here we go. Okay, thank you. All set. Just one more now. And I have the other one already done. How many pennies do you want? Wave the pennies to the egg. Yeah. Let's test it. That seems about right. Okay. All right. Maybe a couple more. Okay, we're trying ours with pennies, you guys. We both need it, because remember, this is... All right. Okay. Theirs is big. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, we have to have... Oh, let's watch this. I get one end, you get the other. Ready? Set. Go. go. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That was really yeah, good. That was awesome. That was yes, awesome. we did good, you guys. <laughs> one, two, three. three. Bombs away. What do you think's wrong with that? I don't know. It went kind of fast. I thought it was going to go slower. Oh, kiss it. What if we just opened one up? We just cut it right here and then we put it over the top. Oh. Right there. Ready, set, go. go. Yeah! Awesome. Did awesome. it hold? Awesome. Yeah. Is it broke? Um. Nope. Nope. Yes! Okay. <laughs> put the egg in. You bet. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, set, hey, go. Hey, no, no, wait a minute. What's oh, this, this one? one. <laughs> Ready, Ready, set, set go. go. 
I think it's intact. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Awesome! Oh, it did a great! <laughs> Our parachute used big plastic bags, so it had a lot of surface area. When the egg pulled the parachute to the floor, the air could really push up against it. This air resistance made the parachute float to the ground slowly, and our egg survived. Make your own parachute using only one plastic bag, and write and tell us why you think it worked. Hi, Frabins. Abif yabu wabin tabu dabun slabek dabu wabin. Yabu nabi dabis. Abba bubby dabba bubby mubba jubba dubbin subbing shabboos. Jabba's pabba dubbum abon. Abbin dubbin nubbo tubbim yabble dubbo dubbis. Rebecca Chapman and I live in Angora, Minnesota. I'm 13 years old and I race sled dogs. My sisters and I own and operate a business which is Sweetman Kennel. You, if you want to go on a vacation and Fufu doesn't have a place to stay, you bring them to us and we'll take care of them. We started this business four years ago and it's been booming ever since. This is the glamorous part of it all. I've learned that hard work does pay off. You have to work to get your money. You have to work hard to earn it. Our dogs aren't vegetarians. Getting a team together is a lot of work. It's just like putting a, together a basketball team. You have to know how to learn to play together, how to work together. Most people think of Malamutes and Huskies as sled dogs, but any dog that can pull hey can be a sled dog. You guys ready to go? Races have a lot of adrenaline in them, and you're finally getting to do something that you've been training to do and you have to know what you're doing. Dogs know by your voice tone how you say something, and if you yell at them, they'll get shy. They don't like that. I don't know where in the world they got mush. You can say, all right, let's go, or hike. Right is G, and left is ta. And stopping is whoa. Whoa. I like running dogs, because it, it's quiet. It's not like a snow machine. It's very fun. Hey, Jared. Yo, Elise, where did the car go on Saturday night? I don't know. To the movies. Get it? Move. <laughs> yeah. Move. 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 Hi, today on Cafe Zoom, we're going to be making a pizza bagel. Now, a lot of different people sent recipes for pizza. They're all pretty much the same, except they use different kinds of bread. Some use bagels, some use tortillas, some used English muffins, some used biscuits, some used whatever. But I decide to use a bagel. Now, you also need tomato sauce, shredded cheese, and a knife. Be sure that you have permission to use the knife. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to cut the bagel in half. Be careful, because you can cut yourself pretty easily. Then, when you're done, take a spoonful of tomato sauce and spread it around the bagel. It smells so good. <laughs> Don't use too much or it could be really gross and ugh. Then, you take 
some shredded cheese and sprinkle it around the bagel. <laughs> and when you're done with that, you pop it into a microwave or a toaster oven. Wait until the cheese melts about 30 seconds. Now, I already have one cooked, so we don't have to wait. And the best part is eating it. Now, I also have one made out of tortilla with mushrooms on top. And I also have one made out of pita bread with potato chips on top. <laughs> Be creative and try all the ideas that you want. Bon appetit. Have you guys ever been like in a competition? Like you mean like yeah. in racing? Going league? against like, someone? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like in test scores and everything. Uh huh. Like um, you have to compete with everybody else about your test scores. Like if somebody gets a better grade than you, you kind of feel that they're better than you sometimes. Yeah. One time, me me and this girl, Yvette, she was like before we used to be enemies, but now we're like best friends. We had a singing competition and I won, and she got mad at me. Mm -hmm. oh. And she was like, I hate you. You such a show off and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. goodness. And we were doing it for fun. So mm -hmm. I remember in math one time, I got one of the best scores, and it was like a really hard test. And all my friends were like, oh, you got the best score. I hate you, and things like that. And I was like, and they were like, um, mm -hmm. they were like, we got lower than you. <laughs> now we all have to take it over, and you got such a good grade. <laughs> and I was like, I know yeah. they <laughs> a lot, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I compete in stuff that I know, like I'm good at. If I compete in something like that, I think, um, oh, I know I'm gonna lose and stuff. I, I sometimes don't compete in that stuff because, because I, I just know I'm not gonna do good in that thing. I don't like it when I lose. I have to admit. I mean, nobody really yeah. likes it when they mm -hmm. lose, but mm -hmm. uh, you have to get over it again. But it just feels. Like if you're in a championship or something and you lose, and you just feel like, oh, we were so close mm -hmm. and everything. But there are other games. Imagine how stressful it would be in the Olympics. Oh, oh yes. Oh man. It's but you have off. you have the whole country counting on you. Uh huh. The whole country is depending on you. You represent that country. It's wow. Have Go you ahead. guys ever been a bad sport at something and then regret it? Probably mm -hmm. have, but I don't remember. Yeah. I think everybody has. I mean, nobody's like a wind-up doll and does I mean, everything perfect. You know, like on baseball, if you're versing another team, and then um, if you if the other team like if the other team loses, they're like, oh, you guys cheated or you yeah. know stuff like that. But when um, you know how you get in line and then you you go by and you know touch their hand like good game, good game. Mm -hmm. Some kids when they lost, they spit in their hand and they're like good game, good game. Oh. And then oh, you would get like spit all over your hand. Yeah. Like, no, bad, you know, bad sports you know what you are losing. Like, you know. I'm like a good sport about things, and then when another team, when another team is like, I say, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna win. You guys stink and everything. And if you make like a wrong move, they're like, ha ha. Then that really gets like, yes, it does. that really gets on my nerves. Uh -huh. And then, and then I get mad at them and do things like that. Sometimes my friends, if they win and I don't, I just put up a smile and tell them they did a good job. But inside, I think I should have won that game. But I try to be a good sport, and yeah. at least inside, mm -hmm. I can be a bad sport. But outside, I show everyone that I'm a good sport. What do you think about? Let's hear from you at the Zoom website at www.pbs.org. And if you don't have a computer, there's probably one at your local library. Sandra Y. of Georgetown, Ohio, nominated Alex S. for today's Zuma Cum Laude. Alex's school didn't have a recycling program, so he decided to create one. He ended up collecting over 20 pounds of paper a week. He sold the paper, and at the end of the year, he gave all the money he made to charity. Congratulations, Alex. You'll be receiving your Zuma Cum Laude certificate in the mail. Congratulations! Them do. Tristan B. of Jacksonville, Arkansas, sent us the instructions on how to make a pet can. It may sound kind of weird, but it actually comes back to you when you roll it away. Come here, Scruffy. Come here. Come here. There you go. To make your pet can, 
The materials are some rubber bands, scissors, lots of pennies, two coffee can caps, one coffee can, and some tape. The first thing you do is take your coffee can and cut out the bottom of the can opener. Now, the next thing you do is you poke two holes in your coffee can lids. <laughs> Elisa. Okay. <laughs> I'll do this. Because the next step is cutting your two rubber bands in half. Make sure they don't spring everywhere. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is take your two rubber bands and stick the two end parts into the little holes. There. Yeah, like so. You want to make sure, though, that when the rubber bands are in, that when they're dangling and the coffee lid's closed, that they're inside the lid. The rubber bands are there so that when we like roll the can, mm -hmm. they twist up, and so when we let go of it, they untwist and the can rolls back to us. Cool. So now here's where you need help. Someone holds the rubber bands, well you take one and one from the other lid, and you do left over right, this is the kind of knot, and make a knot, and then you Square do knot. right over left. And this way they won't budge. So it's left over right or and right over left. So you left over right, and then right over left. Okay. Then they come out like that. Like that. Okay. The next thing you do is you take some pennies and you tape them together. We used about 20. Yeah. They should come out looking like this. Now you're going to tape your weight in between the two rubber bands. means you'll need another piece of tape. It can also be a musical instrument. Hmm? <laughs> Put it in between the two rubber bands like this. You take your tape and tape it in between. Like so. Now once you have your pennies in, you should close the lid. Lenise will do the honors. <laughs> what you want to do is roll it like this. We'll name this one Spot. Sp uh, yeah. And then let her come back. Come, come on, here, Spot. Spot. Come on. Oh, he's so cute. Come on, yo. Look at that again. You want to see it again? <laughs> <laughs> he's going one more time. Come here. Come here. Good puppy. Ooh. Hey, Keiko. Yeah? How does a cow add and subtract? I don't know. He uses a calculator. <laughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> the Skier by kids at the Albert Bridge School, Brownsville, Vermont. called Snatch the Hanky. Molly D of St. Louis, Missouri says all you need to play are some handkerchiefs. Watch this. Ready? Go! <laughs> You're up! Sorry! You're up! Sorry! I got you! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! Come on, Jerry! Me and you! Me and you! Come on! Yeah, I still got my hand. <laughs>
with the amazing creatures at Animal Junction on Zaboomafu. Next, here on WQED 13. All submissions become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Coming soon to Zoom. Right now, our robot is just a big, mean, remote control car. Zoom! Yes! for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by viewers like you. A production of WGBH Boston.